Hello YouTubers, my name is X Factor, and today we're going to showcase and explain how to play Chainlink, the brand new Battlefield 4 game mode found exclusively in the Dragon's Teeth the DLC. Playing on the map, Propaganda, located in the best Korea, also known as North Korea. We're going to explain all the nuances and talk about the gameplay as we go. For those of you who also have a keen eye, you might notice that this footage is just a little bit stretched out. That's because when we went to DICE LA to record, they had some old school hardware, including monitors with a very old school resolution, massive input lag that was not fun for any of us. And of course, I had to stretch it out to at least make it seem like it's 1080 because who wants black bars on their YouTube videos? Let's break down Chainlink, including something that's unique to this game mode. That's a variable ticket bleed system. But before we do that, let's rehash the staple of the Battlefield franchise. That's Conquest. It's all about capping flags in that mode and having the majority. Did it not matter where they're located, how many were in a row, if your team possessed the majority of the flags in Battlefield Conquest, you would establish a negative ticket bleed on the enemy team. No matter how many people they were killing, if they were reviving everybody, nobody was spawning in, they were still losing tickets every couple of seconds. Well, in Chainlink, it's variable, it scales, and it can be absolutely nasty. So let's take a look underneath the cross here. You're going to see that my team has four flags in a row. D, E, F, G. More importantly, you're going to see three blue squiggly lines. Now, look above the mini-map underneath my faction, the Chinese. There's that three again. There's three squiggly lines. Guess what? That's your variable ticket bleed you're inflicting on the enemy team. It's all about how many flags you have in a row, how many they have in a row, if you're protecting yours, if you're taking theirs away. And right now, they have a zero ticket bleed on us because we just neutralized B. They've got two flags, but it doesn't matter because it's not A and B, it's not B and C, and just like that, they got them back. So, how many tickets are we losing every split second? You can either look beneath the crosshair, there's two squigglies, or right beneath the faction, the U.S., there are two squigglies right there. This game mode is very, very fast-paced for several reasons. One, the maps are more linear than Conquest, and they cap like domination points very quickly. Not to mention, there are no vehicles, air, or land on any of the chain link maps found within Dragon's Teeth. Now let's take a look, as I'm hoping Juan Deeg bails me out yet again. There is one squiggly line on our team. We have D, E, F is theirs. It breaks the link on G. Sometimes the best thing you can do in this game mode is try to back cap, flank, and break their link. Because they have two together right now. Two squiggly lines, three flags, two squiggly lines. If we get F back, guess what? We'll have four in a row. That's three squigglies again. That is the very nasty and aggressive ticket bleed. This round just started a couple minutes ago. They are already down to 600 tickets. And these rounds can quickly, quickly turn around. If your team just keeps pushing through like the typical round of lockers and you don't worry about your back caps, great. You got their two gimme flags, which is the two closest to their spawn point. But more than likely, you lost everything behind you. They're going to have four, maybe five in a row. And that's three or four squiggly lines. Again, that's four tickets against you, no matter how well your team is doing. Every single server tick when those tickets refresh. And if you're paying attention above the minimap, it is extremely fast-paced. A little bit faster than the Conquest games that you're used to, right? It is absolutely crazy. If you like the PTFO, if you like infantry gameplay, if you like crazy infantry gameplay, this game mode is absolutely amazing. You can live, eat, breathe, and make some money just playing on those cap points. They flash so fast. That's also something you have to worry about. Is a flag flashing? Are you in the spawn screen? Well, better not hesitate. Because if you wait too long, you're not going to be able to spawn in. And that's the other thing. If this was my flag and I was fighting on it and I got killed, I might not have enough chance to spawn back in. That's how fast these are. These have the domination type feel. Remember, it could take up to 8 seconds to spawn back in. Look how quick that was neutralized. There is no way. And just like that, because they stayed off the flag, not fighting on the flag, we still got it. Now I have the ability to spawn back in and try to back rage these guys. Or do I go the other way? I see my teammates in a little bit of trouble, and we're going to try to defend them. That is how crazy this game mode is. You can play it in many different ways. Do you want to be the guy or gal linking flags together? Do you want to get your gimmies back? Do you want to take their gimmies and put back pressure on them? Do you want to interrupt the middle and just fight in the middle, make them come to you? 
There are all kinds of different answers, but at the end of the day, it all revolves around how many flag caps you have in a row, and are you interrupting their symmetry. Now take a look. The enemy team has two sets of two. Look at that. There are two squigglies. So not only is it about linking them all the way together, but you can get a set of three. You can get a set of three and two. If you did that, you're going to have a three chain. Because there's two chains to the three. There's one chain to the two. And just like that, you see us with the three for a split second. Because we had a three and a two hold, and it dropped down. There are all kinds of different ways to play it. It is completely up to you. My question to you is this. What kind of player are you going to be? Are you going to be the guy or gal sabotaging those back lines as that guy goes prone in front of me? Christmas came early. You could be back capping. Are you going to be capping your gimme flags? Are you going to be interrupting the middle? Are you going to be trying to go where the massive fight is? Because there's a little bit of everything, including a very nasty head glitch box, which we just saw to our left. This game mode is a blast to play. And again, there are no vehicles of any type in this game mode. If you like infantry gameplay, if you like chaos, this could be it for you. And right there is one of the first solid lines we've seen in quite a few minutes. Four flags versus three flags. Three chain links versus two. And the enemy team is already down to 315 tickets. If you notice, the round counter was a little bit short. They did that for recording purposes. We had very limited time to play this. That will be increased. More than likely, that will never be an issue. Because as you can see, our team was all over the place, whether we had two chain links, three, or even four at a point. It really doesn't matter. As I try to clear out this area before I give Jack Price, who's sitting next to me, a little love poke and bring him back to his feet. What do you guys think of the chain link gameplay? Does this have your attention? Is this your type of game mode? Let me assure you, it is fast paced and crazy and I had an absolute blast as I make a very horrible mistake, not to mention taking the input lag and account. I tried to hit fire somebody while running, not ADSing and standing still. Top of that, what started off as a blowout quickly became a very, very close round. Again, the ticket bleed is variable and can be nasty, and the tables can quickly switch based on how many side cuts and back cuts there are. As always, YouTubers, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth chain link footage on Propaganda. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave those down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys soon. Jack Frogs down.